Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O, and I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. Today, we are over here at Elizabethtown Community College. We're about to do a speech, and with that being said, let's get Fluffy in his uh, place position and go ahead and get this started. Fluffy, place. Ladies and gentlemen, I need everybody to use your imagination real quick, all right? I want you to close your eyes. Bear with me here, all right? You don't want to close your eyes, you don't have to. But close your eyes and think about your dream job. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Now go ahead and open them real fast. The CEO of that company just walked in and said they're hiring. Do you know what you're going to say and how you're going to act? Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Daniel Odell, and I'm here to teach you a little bit how to network to find employment. Yeah, network to find employment. And we're gonna do this in three easy steps. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We all know that saying. With that being said, those three easy steps are understanding body language. And I'm gonna show you guys a little demonstration on that. Number two is an elevator speech, and number three is report. With that being said, let's just jump right into it. The first one is body language. A lot of people are like, what does body language have to do with networking? Well, when you understand body language and what it actually means, you will know that when you talk to somebody, you need to mirror that body language. You see this little action figure right here? He looks a little angry to me. This guy right here, he looks relaxed. So if I went up to somebody like this one here, I'm probably going to mirror that as well. I'm going to go up to him, probably have my arms up and be like, hey, buddy, what's going on? You all right? You doing okay today? Outstanding. See, stuff like that is mirroring. Understanding that, you know, if you have that little grandma who's just sitting down, just relaxed, maybe you should not be so lively like I am. Maybe you should be a little more conservative and be like, well, excuse me, ma'am, how are you doing today? Yeah, that's awesome. Shake your hand, lower your tone, but understanding you need to mirror body language so you can have the other person feel more comfortable and the speaker will also feel more comfortable. And that will translate, uh, translate me into the elevator speech. Now, some of you might not know what an elevator speech is, and I'm gonna break this down in a great analogy for you guys. So imagine if you go inside of an elevator and inside that elevator was that CEO that we just was talking about a second ago. That CEO's in there and you only have about 30 seconds to talk to him before he gets off. You may never ever see him again. Now during that 30 seconds, you need to sell yourself and ask him some important questions. Now let me demonstrate. We're gonna act like this action figure is like some human, okay? All right, I'm gonna go up to him and I'm gonna ask him some very, very important key things. There's gonna be three things that I'm gonna do during this elevator speech. I'm gonna see if you guys catch it. Oh, nice shirt. I like that. Where'd you get that from? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Hey, with that being said, my name is Daniel Odell. I love marketing, networking, and influencing people all around the world. My biggest thing that I love to do as well is problem solve and making the world a better place. With that being said, um, enough about me and everything. Why are you here? Ah, you're here on business? That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you. Look forward to my email coming to you real soon. Now that right there is an elevator speech. Now if you, if you caught those three things that I said, the first thing is I looked at them and I acknowledged something about them. I made them feel good about themselves, right? It's not only about me, it's also about that other person. Now the next thing that I did is I, I spoke about myself. I said only highly things that I love to do and want to do and how I can help this person, this individual, that CEO that we were just talking about. And last but not least, I talk about something that I can use as rapport, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about next. But translating back onto that elevator speech, why is that rapport so good? Ask him why he's here, is because I'm gonna use that the next time I send him that email or make that phone call, or I talk to them. And that's what rapport is. Rapport is understanding that you care enough to not just talk about yourself, but talk to the other person that you're communicating with and use that information the next time you communicate with them to let them know that you actually genuinely cared about that person. So I asked them, why were they here? 
Why were you here? Were you here on business? Were you here family vacation? Because again, when I send that email, I'm going to be like, hey, this is Daniel O'Dell. Um, I remember when you, were here, when you were here at Elizabethtown Community College wearing that awesome shirt that I mentioned. All right, now that's two things. And then I'll translate into, um, by the way, can you kind of um, hook me up with a job? Or can you do this for me? Or maybe we should you know, go out to eat for lunch and talk more. It's basically using that rapport to get in a little bit more. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm explaining what you need to do for, um, um, oh, I had a brain farm, but that's okay. But that's what you need to do to uh, be able to have um, the, the qualities to network to find employment. So I encourage each and every one of you to think about this speech the next time you're confronted with somebody or a CEO or just somebody important. Are you gonna just stand there and freeze and not know what to do? Or are you just gonna remember those three easy peasy, lemon squeezy steps? Number one, body language. Number two, elevator speech. Number three, rapport. I believe that you guys can do it. So let's do it. With that being said, thank you for your time.